is Kim Fraser and um, Irene Hales was my mother. My mother was always very active, very independent person. She lived in sheltered accommodation, which was um, a retirement development that was designed for people to live independently. Uh, she went out and about every day uh, until she started. She had a couple of falls and uh, was taken into hospital. They couldn't quite work out what the problem was, um, kept sending her home saying that she was okay. Uh, then she was having started to get confused, was taken back into hospital. Again, uh, she ended up in a cottage hospital uh, for some uh, rehabilitation, uh, was sent home again. And she was fine for a few days and then the confusion set in again and she was taken back into, she had another fall, was taken back into hospital. Uh, this time they discovered that her calcium levels were really high, um, which they thought was what was causing the confusion. I mean, this was a lady who played Scrabble. She did the um, Daily Telegraph crossword every day. She wrote books. She was a local author. Um, she was always very, very active. And um, this wasn't her at all, but after, she was in hospital two or three weeks and um, they sent her for a PET scan and sadly discovered that she did have cancer. This was secondary cancer. The, um, the origin actually was never quite determined, but it was secondary cancer and it had spread throughout her body. She had it in her spine, in her, in her various organs. Uh, the diagnosis came through on her 94th birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandma. Which um, was rather sad. They actually sent her for a biopsy that afternoon because they thought that it may have originated with breast cancer, but um, that was inconclusive. But I mean, there was no point in doing any further tests because it had just spread too badly and it was terminal. And um, so they told us actually on her 94th birthday that she needed to have um, end of life care and that the best thing for her probably was to go to a residential home. Yeah, it was on a Sunday morning and um, the, the vicar gave it out from the pulpit and said we have just declared, or we've just declared war on Germany or the other way around, whatever it was. And uh, he said, um, you can either go home or stay shelter here, you know. Anyway, I went home. do after that, I can't remember. But I know there was a man with his horse and cart and he was trying to unhitch his horse from the cart because he wanted, wanted to get out of the road with him. Obviously, you know, as I say, it, it, it came somewhat as a shock, but we, knew, we all knew that there was something seriously wrong. Um, this wasn't my mother at all. And um, the thought of her going into residential care and not having to worry about the meals and um, you know, her falling, the, that she'd have somebody there all the time seemed to be the best idea and we spoke to her about it and that was what she wanted as well. So we went and looked at uh, some different homes that the hospital suggested over that weekend and um, we, we picked one that we thought you know, would suit her, uh, sort of the, the best of the, of the selection that we were given and um, she, they, the paperwork moved through really, really quickly and she actually moved in on the Wednesday, uh, you know, having had the diagnosis just that previous week. Uh, it was a lovely home. Uh, she, the, the reason that we picked it was because it seemed to have an awful lot going on on the social side, which was mum, mum, my mother to a T. Uh, there were people around all the time. They had social activities all the time, every day, there was something going on in the lounge in the afternoons. Uh, she, they took her out for trips, uh, she, she went bowling, um, she went to the garden centre, she went to the local museum, um, all over the place. They, they used to come um, with a minibus and um, sort of, you know, select those who, who wanted to go and who were able to go. And uh, I mean, she was using a wheelchair by that point, but 
I had the opportunity to go with her as well, which was really nice. And it was it was great because it gave us it gave us quality time with her. It took away all the worry. And there were people there looking after her. We knew she was being looked after. Her every care was every problem was taken care of. Um, we just went in and visited every day, and were able to take the time to be with her and enjoy being with her. Um, you know, enjoy talking to her. As I say, we were managed to go out with her. We we pushed her in the wheelchair around the grounds, and it was just a really, really positive experience for for both myself and my sister. So it's easier to be able to talk about it now because my conscience is clear and um, you know I know that we did everything that we could do. Um, we, we did as a family, we all pulled together and you know we, we, we did everything we possibly could for her. And because of that it's you know it's easier to talk about now. Um, I suppose I don't feel guilty which uh, is always a plus. I do miss her though.